Hi, I'm Joe from Cheap Joe's and I'd like to show you one way to mix color. Most people think of mixing color and mixing it on the palette and I'm constantly hearing I'm making mud or I'm making a mess. This is a way to let your color mix without mixing it on the palette because we're going to let it mix on the paper. It's so much prettier that way. I've already activated some color and they're already beginning to run together a little bit on the palette, but I'm going to take this one and a half inch brush. It's just a big nylon flat brush with a round handle and actually just pick up a couple of colors without stirring it in here. Then I'm going to go straight to my painting over here and just put it in there. Wow, look what beautiful color I'm getting in this right here. I already have some color on this little painting from where we showed how to use the masking tape. So that's what those little areas are right in there. And I'm just letting this color mix in here. I'm adding a little darker there because I have this transition in there. Then I'm going to add just some pure water down here. Let that mix a little brighter color. It's getting kind of dull on me in there. So I'm going to add some color. And I'm coming right around this little house in here. Very carefully letting it mix itself right on the paper. I'm picking it. Look at that. I love it. That's kind of muted here, but it gives me a change from that one to this one. So I'm just working right on around, picking up clean color on my brush, letting it mix on the paper, flipping the brush back and forth, and I'm going to continue that all the way through here. Now I'm just adding more color from the mixes that I had on my palette here. I'm trying to keep the value darker here because so it will give me a contrast. I'm also making it fairly heavy, doing it fairly quickly because we're going to do the little scraping deal and it won't work without it being fairly heavy in here. And so that's why I'm hurrying along and I'm going to put that little evergreen tree and it got kind of muddy on me. See, I let too much color mix in at one time on my brush there. So need to keep every now and then go back and clean the brush and it helps to keep it a little color pure rather than as we say mud in there. So I'm coming down like that and it's getting very dry and I've got to hurry. Now I pick up the little scraper and begin to scrape out some shapes and this need this is just about the right time to do that. It's still wet but a little dull. So I come in here and just start pulling sideways. I hope you can see that and it forms this wonderful shape. And we'll take a smaller size now and just start scraping right up through there. And it's going to give me this little tree shape. And it was so wet that now it's running back in there and making that darker, this lighter. So I'm going to take the edge of it and pull out a couple of little branches and limbs just like isn't that fun you have to be careful because it is so much fun you can also use a razor blade to do the same thing be very careful hold it on its side and just pull it and i pull it with little short jerks and that's what gives you those little limbs in there like that and it's kind of fun to do and that one tree is going to be standing over here all by itself but that's okay that's how you scrape you can hold this and pull sideways and get some trees that look like they're way back there, kind of like that. Let's do a couple more down here just to see what they look like. Small one, and maybe we'd pull another limb up here. And that's how we scrape. And you just have to be careful. You'll get carried away because it's so much fun. Remember now, hold your razor blade flat against the paper and push or pull. It's very easy. The paper needs to be damp. Can't be too wet or you'll get it dark color will run back into it. So it's a matter of playing with it to find out how it does work and when you should go in and when you should stay out. Also keep your scraping to a minimum and keep it in the foreground. Stuff in the background get, tends to get too busy. So fun way to do, fun way to paint. I'll see you next time.